All right, friends, welcome to my new cooking show that I'm doing. Um, I will be making recipes out of this 365 great 20 minute recipes um, so you can feed yourself as I feed myself. Today, if you're following along in the book, which I highly doubt because I found it at a thrift store five years ago in the middle of Fort Collins, a really small bookstore, but if you're following along in the book, we're on number 264. We'll be cooking chicken marsala. So a few of the utensils that you're going to need. A couple measuring cups. Here we got a fourth a cup, a third a cup, and a half cup here. You'll need some tablespoon and teaspoons. This is one tablespoon. This is half a teaspoon. You'll also be needing a fourth a teaspoon, but I don't have that. Um, you'll be needing a Pretty big skillet, large skillet. Um, I think this is a skillet, I don't know. The lid, to go on top of it, find one that fits. If you don't have one, use a plate. All right, also you're gonna need a chopping board and the biggest knife you can find, only because knives are fun. All right, moving on to the food preparation. Here's the list of things that you will need for food. Um, includes one pound of chicken breast tenders uh, you'll need. Some parsley. Turns out you only need this for the garnish, but I bought an entire head of it, so. Some butter, mushrooms, lemon juice, heavy cream. And you'll need to find some chicken marsala. And after you spend approximately 30 minutes going up and down the aisles looking for a bottle of it, you'll find this. Um, you'll find the last two of these, and you'll have to make the marsala yourself. So. I don't know how to do that. And I, I just need the mix, I guess. I'm just gonna figure out what to do with that. All right, so now that you have all that stuff down, you'll also need salt and pepper for seasoning. All right, so we're gonna start off with that. All right, now that you've moved, now that you moved everything uh, across the room, you're gonna go ahead and start off by Number one saying, season chicken with salt and pepper, and then in a large nonstick skillet, melt the butter over high medium heat. Add mushrooms and chicken. Cook, stirring often until golden brown, about three minutes. So, I got boneless chicken breast, just the breast, um, and it says you need the tenders. So I'm going to slice those up. I'm also going to reposition the camera one more time, just because this isn't difficult enough. All right, now that you have everything positioned one more time, because I love moving the camera so much, we're gonna go ahead and open up these and just slice them down into some tenders. Uh, just gonna go ahead and set those out just like that. I'm gonna slice those into tenders. All right, we've rolled up our sleeves and we're gonna slice these into tenders. The part that you wanna get down while slicing these into tenders is that you want them somewhat thin and long, so I say, Right there is a good cut length. That's about a half an inch thick there. Um, thing is, since they're th so thick right here, um, that way, that you kind of want to make them thinner that way so then um, they can cook. All right, now that you have cut up all of your chicken, um, you're going to lay them out once again. Yeah, so we're going to lay them out just like that. I'm going to bring some pepper first. It says just use a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. I want to pepper it very lightly. Um, so since I only have a half a teaspoon, I'm going to fill it up. Alright, so you're just going to have to trust me on this that I filled it up halfway because it is not working today. You just kind of want to make sure that gets over everything. And I think it's okay if you over pepper some and under pepper another. It's pepper. You don't need it on every single bit. So after that, we're going to flip it upside down and we're going to season the other side with salt. Um, now you can season both sides evenly with pepper and salt if you'd like. I'm not going to, um, so that's up to you and your personal
cooking endeavors. Again, it doesn't really matter how you season um, in my book. All right, and since I have kosher salt, it's going to be a little stronger. Um, so I'm going to try to, but I like salt. So I'm still going to fill it up about half. Um, just try to be a little lighter on each piece. Try not to have too much salt on one. I'm just going to, oh, sh shoot, dang. I touched the chicken with this. I did a lot of salt on the chicken. Awesome. So after you rub that in, um, you can rub in or not. Um, I'm going to rub this part in because that was a lot of salt. Once you have all your chicken seasoned and whatnot, you can go ahead and push that to the side. And then we could start on the saucepan. All right, and after you're done washing your hands, um, you're just going to come back, dry off your hands with that towel. Next part, we're going to be dealing with this saucepan here. All right, now what we have to do here, we have to melt the butter at medium high heat. All right, once we've done that, we'll be melting the butter over medium high heat in this non-stick pan. Now obviously this is a stick pan. Um, not bougie enough to have a non-stick pan. All right, so in any case, I'm gonna open up the old margarine. I choose margarine instead of butter because as my dad says, this is the good stuff. As it's coming up to temperature, I'm just gonna go ahead and just drop that butter in. All right, and the butter is just gonna drop in there. As that's coming up to heat, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that butter in there. As that's coming up to heat, I'm just gonna scoop this butter out right now. Uh, put it into there. Just like that, let that melt in there. I'm not gonna get the excess because it'll stick. All right. As that's moving around, I'm going to go ahead and get a little, maybe a little wooden spatula or a wooden spoon. I'm going to get a wooden spoon. I like wooden spoons. So I'm going to stick with the spatula because I don't have a wooden spoon. Alright, you can leave the wooden spoon. Fuck! Alright, so I'm going to use a wooden spoon now. Gonna go ahead and get a half a cup of these. Um, so what you want, you just want a handful is basically what they're going for here. Just go ahead and put in just, just a half a cup there. Fun fact about mushrooms, you can never overcook mushrooms. I'm a big mushroom guy. So I like to add some mushrooms. Also at this time you can add the chicken until uh, everything is golden brown. I'm going to go ahead and use this spoon because um, so I want to. I'm going to cook this until it's, it says until it's golden brown. I don't know exactly what is supposed to be golden brown, whether it's the chicken or the mushroom. Um, but it says it'll take about three minutes. So I'm going to cook this until it's golden brown. Um, as I said, I like butter, so I'm going to add some more. So just a little bit more butter. All right, so it looks like the butter's not going to add anymore. The thing you want to look out for in butter is how sticky it is. I should have prepared for the next part. Okay, what's the next part? Stir in marsala cream lemon juice. How much marsala do I need? A third of a cup of marsala? How much is in here? 1.25 ounces? I don't know how much that is. How much cream do I need? A fourth of a cup of heavy cream. All right, so you want to add a fourth of a cup of heavy cream. I hope they meant heavy whipping cream because that's what I got. All right, and you're going to add a third of a cup of marsala. I hope they mean the packet, because that's all I got. And you want to add just a little bit of a half a teaspoon of lemon juice. Um, so just, that was way too much. Um, as this boils, you want to, oh, um, this is very good. You want this to happen just like this. Um, the packet called for water, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add more cream. The packet was it was a dry packet of marsala. I think they wanted liquid marsala, so I'm adding cream. I'm gonna add about um, half a cup of water. Oh thank God. Okay, so that cooled it down. Very good. Um, it's a stick pan. 
So um, it's a stick pan, so it's going to stick. Partially cover with a lid and cook until chicken is cooked through. So you want to leave it partially covered. Um, so I think that's what they want is half covered, just like that. So we're going to leave that there uh, for about five minutes it's until the sauce thickens, um, just slightly. And we're going to sprinkle with some parsley. I'm just going to say if it starts to boil a little bit, looks like it's going to cook on the bottom, just go ahead and give it a stir if you have a stick pan. Oh, the oh, all right, so I just threw away the lid for this. Um, so just go ahead and just pour just a little bit more in there. Well, if you feel like it, that'll thicken it up as well. Um, or you probably shouldn't do that, because maybe it'll thicken it up too much. Oh well, I did it. Shouldn't have done that. And then, um, since you're not going to use the rest, just go ahead and just dump it out again. Dump it into the sink. It's only $2 of your life that's gone. I have way more mushrooms than I need to do with. Did I ever say I was a big mushroom guy? Let's just go ahead and just add some more in there. So we don't have to throw those away. <laughs> you can never overcook a mushroom. I still have way too much. I'm a big mushrooms guy. So let's just go ahead and just add some more of those in there. There we go. That'll do. You can never overcook a mushroom. Just gonna throw the rest away. All right, so the sauce is thickening. Um, so I'm going to find something to take the temperature of the chicken. Okay, um, so I'm going to just temp check this chicken here. Um, make sure the black needle gets up to 165. Looks like it's not anytime soon. I'm going to lower the heat just a little bit more. Scrape off all the all the stuff that's burning down there and cover it again because you know you, you don't want to get sick now do you said this will be ready in 20 minutes it's taking me an hour to cook all thumbs up for food Okay, so if your thermometer isn't working, just go ahead and just find the thickest piece, just cut it in half. Um, what we're looking for is completely white um, on the inside. No sign of pink at all. Alright, so you see, we want it to be completely white in there. And so that one was completely white. Didn't have any pink, thank God. Burnt again. Um, and so, we can be done with this. So I'm just going to turn off the heat here, leave it covered as I prepare a plate. <clears throat> surprisingly well. No, um, never had ch chicken masala before, but we'll have it again. If you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe to me on YouTube. This is just one of many that I might be doing. First round was a success. And that's how the second round goes. Chicken is still moist, which is good. Not overcooked? Because you can't overcook it. Alright.